Miss Scoozy. Hello, all my doppelgangers out there. I don't even really know what that word means, but I thought that it sounded cool. I promise not to say it again. Welcome to another lovely episode of my personal blog, The Lamb Land Auto Jam! I'll probably start not stating the title of this, because if anyone's even watching it, and they probably don't want to hear me repeat that every time, all five of my fans. So, another day at work, another day down, another day to go, I guess. Um, today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, therefore the weekend is coming, it's coming, it's coming, 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 it's coming, it's coming, coming, coming. Um, it should be a good weekend. I'm going up to school on Friday night to go out to dinner with a friend and then uh, also drop off my sister's keys because she forgot them in the bathroom. And uh, then on Saturday, my first girlfriend and one of my best female friends is having her birthday party. She's turned 23 on Tuesday, so she's old. But I still love her. Please don't hate me if you're watching this. Um, other things. So, in my previous one, I mentioned how I met a really cool girl in England. I'm not taking that back by any means. No, I would exaggerate on it more. I just don't want to embarrass her or me. But, I forgot to mention her lovely best friend, Katie. So, Katie, hello, this one's for you. And in honor of Katie, I thought that I would discuss something that happened when I was over in the country. You know, like, when English people come here, or people from other countries come to wherever you live, and you're like, Oh my god, say something in Australian! Or, Oh my god, say something in Spanish! Or, Oh my god, say something in English! You know, any one of these things. Or, you know, they ask you so many questions about where you're from, and this, that, and the other thing. Well... The conversation came up about American words. And the first word that popped in my head, because one of my favorite words, was hootenanny. Not hootenanny, but hootenanny. 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 Um, it's just a word that I've always enjoyed using. You know, it's completely useless for the most part, but it's fun. Um, and I tried to teach the uh, English people that. So, here's a little blip of them trying to say hootenanny. <laughs> okay, so it was just Katie trying to say hoot and nanny, but it was funny all the same. In other news, uh, apparently some man is pregnant. Apparently, uh, this was it's a, a transgender individual, um, and you know she turned into a he a few years back, and uh, managed to keep her reproductive, managed to keep his, her. His or hers? His, hers, uh, genital organs, therefore allowing them to still be reproductive. So, uh, with some help from, you know, a fertility clinic, she has, she, he, she, he, has managed to become pregnant. And it's five months, so, go figure. Um, the only thing is, is there's a gag order of some sort on the whole situation, according to some reports. Uh, apparently, they're not allowed to disclose any information until his gag order is off, and it's off on April 1st. What else is on April 1st? Yeah. So, if it is a prank, it's a really good one, because you fooled all the media, so i got to give you props for that. If it's not a prank, congratulations, good luck, I hope you two have a very lovely child and a great life together. It's going to be room cleaning time tonight. Um, you won't be able to see it finished until later. So here's just a little sampling of what it looks like right now. This is my room. It is a disaster. And this is slightly cleaner than it was yesterday. Slightly. It'll hopefully be much cleaner once I'm done. And if it's not, I might get kicked out of the house. Besides that, you know, I was, with this whole pregnancy thing, I was thinking about uh, getting pregnant. I mean, not me. 
But, you know, in the future, like, what if I got someone pregnant? Hopefully it would be, you know, the person who I love and who I marry. But let's say you go swimming in a pool and that one in ten bajillion chance, which is also an old folk tale, happens where your little swimmies land in another person's pool and bada bing bada boom, you've got a kid. Or maybe you're hitting on someone at a bar and you sneeze and somehow your nose is now producing your man seed and it flies into the nearest woman's spot. In any case, uh, I just figured I would show you guys my step towards not reproducing. I call them my birth control glasses. I wear them at work. I haven't gotten anyone pregnant yet. Go me. I can actually barely see out of those, so I'm going to stick with these ones for now. I need a new computer badly. And thus, I am going to start selling all of my shit on eBay. Because, apparently, eBay is a way to make money. I just learned this because I thought eBay was a way to lose money for the last four years. Go figure. Final thought for today? Don't sneeze in the pool. No. Just don't do it.